Hello everyone and welcome to our um, Tableau desktop training videos by Tableau Coach. This is a the fourth video of a series that I'm using to train everybody on how to um, prep for the Tableau 9 certification. Um, basically, we're going to go ahead and jump into question number 10 that's in their sample questions that they provide online. So question number 10 says, determine which state in the central region has the highest distribution of profits using interquartile ranges. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. What we're going to need to do is filter on the central region because that's the only one they care about. We're going to go ahead and bring in, let me undo that. We're going to bring in the state um, and province. So we need to find the state in the central region which has the highest distribution of profits. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to bring in our profits and we're going to use the box and whisker plot to determine which state has the highest distribution. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the sum of profit in our rows and we have regions filtered out and state or province here. Basically, what we need to do now is drag the state and province um, from the detail to the column. So it automatically drops the state into the details column. So we need to put it into columns. So now we see the states on the bottom. Now you see all the data is kind of smushed up or aggregated. What we need to do is go into analysis and uncheck where it says aggregate measures. And now you can see the distribution. You will actually be able to see that South Dakota over here has the highest, um, the highest interquartile ranges. And you might have a question of, so what is an interquartile range? It's basically, uh, it's a measure of vari variability. It's based on dividing a data set into quartiles. So what you need to do is you need to take Q3 minus Q1, and that's how you determine the variability. Let's go ahead and go on to question number 11. This is asking us to look at the sum of profits for each product subcategory. Which subcategory is $31,069 below the average profit across all categories? All right, so the first step we need to do is we need to take our product subcategories and we need our profit, okay? And then we need to create a calculated field. So we're gonna create a calculated field and this is going to be the difference from the overall profits. And the way we do that is sum of profits, oops, sum profit, minus 77,202. And this is the number that we actually derived in a, in a previous example where we actually calculated the average profits. We just need to close the parentheses here and now the calculation is valid. So we're gonna go ahead and say apply. We're gonna add the difference over here just so we can see it fully, the difference from overall profit and if we just take a quick scan through, we can actually see the number 31, negative 31,069 for envelopes, which is actually our product subcategory under letter C, and that's the correct answer. Let's go ahead on to question number 12. The top 10 customers by sales represent X of the total profits. So. How do we do that? Well, let's go step by step. We basically need to find the top 10 customers by sales. So if we go ahead and create a set of top 10 customers by sales, or we're gonna use sum of sales, we have our set right here. So we have the inset and we have an outset. And if we go ahead and bring in our profit, we have this amount in, and then it shows what how much is 
out of the set. What we, go, what we need to do is actually find the percentage instead of the numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop down on the sum of profit and we're going to look at the percent of total. And we can actually see that the top 10 customers represent 5.03%, which are the inset of total profits.